secret. I mean, I feel like it's time to kind of share the secret. another video if you're new my name's Lauren it's Saturday morning I just wrapped up a work week of my life video which will already be up on my YouTube channel by the time you are seeing this so I will link it down below so you can check it out after you watch this video but um, make sure you're subscribed and give this video a thumbs up it really helps support my channel also go ahead and follow, I'm just linking all this stuff also go ahead and follow me on instagram I'm trying to be more active on there so if you want to support me growing my instagram because i want the swipe up feature and i don't have 10,000 followers sadly but i want the swipe up feature for my instagram story and definitely go give me a follow over there come back to another video i'm so glad that you clicked this video and you are here i have you on my new tripod that christian got me and i showed in my work week in my life on you're sitting on my bed this thing is incredible it's actually so good but and it was 20 bucks off amazon christian got it for me for my birthday which was wednesday so i'm now 26 years old i feel like it only just gets better and better as you get older so i'm excited aging is not scary to me aging having birthdays getting older isn't scary to me because i just feel like you just can learn so much with age and with getting older and more experiences and everything and that's just so exciting to me so exciting to look forward to and all that stuff and i feel like just good things are constantly coming always and as you get older just those things just keep coming in as the days go on so i'm gonna make the bed i need to unload the dishwasher i need to do laundry i need i want to go to the grocery store i'm trying to cut out sugar okay um i'm trying to cut out sugar not like completely cut out sugar but i'm trying to limit it where's i going with this not like have things with a lot of added sugar like obviously i'm gonna have like treats like if i want ice cream cookies whatever but just things that don't need to have sugar in it like my oat milk i need to part ways with my oatly it has seven grams of added sugar and that is just a lot so I think I'm gonna go, I really wanna try that milk, 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 milk from, I get, I can only really get it from Whole Foods, I think, because there was this little mom and pop type grocery health food store by my apartment, and I remember a few months ago they had it, and I didn't get any, and then I just went last week, and they didn't have it anymore, so maybe they just don't sell it, or maybe it just wasn't doing well. So I want to go to Whole Foods and get that, so that way I can, I kind of want to see if I like it too, but I really need to, I don't need to be having those seven 
grams of sugar added. I'm just trying to cut it out where I know that I can and just make a little bit healthier of decisions. Even though I love Oatly Oat Milk, it's so good. It's really good in my coffee, so I'm hoping that I can just find, I feel like I've done this before where I've tried to find an alternative to my oat milk and I just go back to Oatly because it's so good. But anyways, we'll see. So I need to unload the dishwasher. I need to put my water filter back on the fridge. for wearing a cardigan to Whole Foods but I just get cold inside grocery stores and just in general and I just don't want to be cold so because it's probably like 95 degrees outside or maybe even 100 <laughs> oh well right at least I'm wearing shorts you know <laughs> I just got back from Whole Foods. I thought I would do just like a little haul, even though you probably saw everything in my cart in a clip. Got Siete chips. These are smaller than the bags that I get from Publix, but I got the nacho flavor. And then I haven't tried this flavor. It's the Chipotle barbecue one. Thought it'd be good to try. Christian loves these too. So it says a lot when a guy likes stuff like this that's like healthier, grain-free, vegan, whatever. It says a lot when a guy likes it, so he likes it. I got coconut water for smoothies. I got flaxseed for smoothies or oatmeal. Chia seeds for smoothies. I got two green juices. I got the tropical greens one, which is coconut water, pineapple, apples, mango, and kale. And then I got Green Aid, which is apples, celery, spinach, kale, and lemon. And then I got two of the Malk Milk. I wanted to get one almond milk, but they didn't have it in stock. All they had was the oat milk. So I got two of these because it says enjoy within 7 to 10 days of opening. You know what? This has added sugar in it. I didn't even see that it had... I didn't even look that it had, I mean, it has five grams of added sugar. Where does that come from? The oats? Is that where the sugar is? It's not in salt, is it? Oat milk, it's, there's tons of ingredients. There's oat base, acid, rapeseed oil, rapeseed, dipotassium phosphate, calcium carbonate, tricalcium phosphate, sea salt, dicalcium phosphate, <laughs> riboflavin, Vitamin A, vitamin D2, vitamin B12. So there's just a lot of ingredients in Oatly. And this just has filtered water, organic, gluten-free oats, and Himalayan salt. So there's a lot of added stuff in there. So maybe I'm being slightly healthier. I don't know. And then I saw this on an end cap. It was a poppy ginger lime. They don't have this at Publix. So I picked up one. I need to stop buying these little drinks, sodas, sodas, spindrift, flavored water, sparkling water, everything. It sucks me in. But ginger lime sounds so good. I love anything ginger lime. So, got that. And that's, that's the haul. I think I'm going to make a smoothie and try it with coconut water. So, I think you have to refrigerate this after open. Okay. Consume within two days. I should have got a smaller one. Okay, I hope Christian wants a smoothie. Okay, let's. I'm gonna need to lower you a little bit. We're gonna move over here. Okay, so first, I'm gonna do 
fairies. Nana. Kale. Spoonful of chia seeds. Brown flax. I've never had a, I keep moving you. I've never had a smoothie with coconut water, so I don't know how it's gonna be. It's really good. Usually add like almond milk or oat milk to my smoothies. So it's different with coconut water, but it tastes really good. Can you guys drop your favorite smoothie recipes, like at home smoothie recipes in the comments? Because I feel like I wanna switch things up and try new smoothie recipes so let me know your favorite like go-to smoothie i want to try some Joe's just to restock on some stuff for the week and for the upcoming weeks. I'm just doing some laundry. I'm about to wash the bed sheets probably when we get back. And I just opened the ginger lime poppy that I got yesterday. It's really gingery. I don't know why I expected it to kind of taste like a ginger ale. I don't know why, but I did. tried a burrito for the first time today which everyone thought I was nuts for never trying a burrito but I just always get like a burrito bowl or tacos or a taco salad so I've just never eaten a burrito before and it was so good we went to three different grocery stores so we went to Trader Joe's I didn't do a Trader Joe's haul because I did one of those a few weekends ago so if you're interested in seeing what we get check out that video and we went to Publix to just grab some other stuff. I don't like grabbing certain things from Trader Joe's that I would get at another grocery store if that makes sense. You know how they have specific brands at Trader Joe's or specific things at Trader Joe's and Publix is just different. So we went to Publix after and then we went to Target after that and then we got back switched over some laundry and now I'm about to make a smoothie as just like a snack. I didn't realize that you had to consume this in one to two days so I'm trying to consume it. I got crushed ginger at Trader Joe's in the frozen section so I'm gonna add this to the smoothies and see how it tastes. different. I don't know if Christian's gonna like it. It's refreshing. I don't think he's gonna like it. So you like it? You guys. I've been keeping a secret for June now for two months. I've been keeping a secret 
And I mean, I feel like it's time to kind of share the secret. Trying to tell you guys this whole entire vlog and I just remembered I was about to leave and I just remembered I was like oh my god I haven't even told them what is going on it's not that exciting but I've been keeping the secret for two months but Christian and I are moving we are moving in we get the keys to our apartment in two weeks we get our keys to our apartment on june 21st which is two weeks from tomorrow and then we the movers come and move our stuff on june 26th so we're moving to a new apartment i have just the craziest stuff has happened in this apartment you guys would not believe that i have not shared but um we're moving, I'm so freaking pumped to move. It's, we're gonna be the second people to live in that apartment and I just, the, from the day we moved into this apartment that we live in currently, we have had a roach problem, literally, and we don't, it's so disgusting to me. And we live in Florida, yes, I'm okay with seeing a roach here and there, but we have seen, like we have put in collectively over 30 work orders for roaches, probably. We have seen, and that's not even how many roach, roaches we've actually seen. We haven't even put in work orders for all the roaches that we've seen. It is so frustrating dealing with this. They're like, you need to plug up your drains. They're like swimming through the toilet, like up through the toilet. So I guess they're water bugs or whatever. I don't care. They're big ass bugs that are in my apartment. I'm a clean person. They refuse to fix the front door. Um, there's a little like opening at the bottom of the front door. They refuse to fix that because they have to put on a brand new door. So they refuse to fix the sealant of the door because they have to put a new one on. Ever, we, we signed the lease during a Mercury retrograde and you're not supposed to make like big decisions during a Mer Mercury retrograde. So, I don't know, that, that kind of like threw me off a little bit too, but I need to read through these work orders that we have put in since the day we moved in. We see roaches literally all the time. I have to check the corners of the room before I go to bed. Like that is no way to live in an apartment. I pay way too much. In, for this apartment to be dealing with roaches or water bugs or whatever they are they're coming up through the shower drains they're coming in through the doors they they it took them months to fix the hole in the wall in the filter the water heater room which is where they were coming from as well i could go on and on and i have kept all of this just to myself but i have been wanting to move for months 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 and i had to kind of talk christian into it but he's sick of the roaches we thought they would eventually stop because we thought the people below us were just we basically we thought the people below us were really dirty and because they would have like four trash bags and we have valet trash they would have four trash bags worth of to-go food and takeout food every single day and they're by their door and you're only allowed to put out one bag of trash a day and I don't know how the people they were probably fined so much but we thought it was them and they moved out and then we continued to see roaches we don't leave out food we don't I don't leave dishes in the sink we use our dishwasher regularly like I've never left dishes in the sink before maybe for like an hour after I cook breakfast or double wall mug that I have to hand wash it's just i kid you not it has been so like i need to pull up these work orders because i need to show you how ridiculous it was when we first moved in our blinds and our kitchen were broken when we first moved in and we had to continuously put in work orders to get them fixed because we couldn't open the blinds let me let me just show you i'm not gonna tell you every single time we submitted a work order for roaches but christian comes to bed after me and he'll like brush his teeth and the main like our the master bathroom and he'll see a roach on the wall and there's no window in there there's no nothing so they're coming in through the drain it's just it's no way to live life 
dealing with roaches i feel really bad for anyone who occupies the space after or who rents i'm okay with seeing a roach every once in a while but i'm not okay with seeing a roach every two days we saw four roaches in six days four four roaches like and it's just like embarrassing for me to share this with you guys because you're probably like oh she's so gross no like we are very clean christian's very clean i've never met such a clean boy it's actually kind of scary i sent a really kind of rude work order the last time i saw a roach because i was honestly i'm sick of it i'm so sick of it i was so rude and okay so the second the day we moved in the blinds needed to be fixed um a few days after we were there within the first week the kitchen lights above the stove area are dim and they didn't like turn all the way up the drawer in our fridge was broken the kitchen sink faucet is missing cap a few days after we moved in this is all on the third that i'm putting this all in like july 3rd 2020 the set of four lights in the kitchen on the ceiling are permanently dim sometimes when we turn on the lights like no one fixed it and then seven seven so this is a week and a half after we moved in found four roaches total in the past week we were living there for a week a week one in the kitchen one in each bathroom and one by the front door electrical this was on 717 i have put in three work orders for the main light fixture in the kitchen it is a fixture with four lights pointed directly down the middle of the kitchen the fixture does not turn on 717 the patio door blinds still aren't fixed still aren't fixed we were living there for three weeks 717 pest control we just had a pest control out to service the apartment and found a live roach in the master bathroom a few days later 731 i previously submitted a work order for the blinds in our kitchen on the balcony door not working it has been a month now and haven't been fixed we saw that the parts were ordered and now the maintenance request is canceled we are still waiting on the blinds to be fixed ac was leaking water a few days later a month after living there our stove hot light won't turn off we haven't touched the top of the stove and turned the knobs to see if we accidentally left the stove on but the stove isn't even on so the stove light wasn't working pest control again Hi, we have found three roaches this week in our apartment. This is the third maintenance request we had since making a move into the apartment two months ago. Please have the pest control. It was just, it was like one thing after another and they weren't listening. They weren't, they would say that they completed our work order and they didn't. So anyways, I, that's, I'm, that's the spiel. Anyways, it's just, it was so, yeah. So I finally get to tell you guys the secret. We're moving, we're moving. It's right down the road though, so it's not far, which is good. Um, we're getting movers for all of the big furniture. I just put the deposit down for that. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. And this place has a pool on site at our old place or our current place, I guess. Um, we don't have a pool on site. We have to use like a community pool in our area, but this new place has like a pool on site i'm just excited to move you guys because of the i shouldn't have to be told like close the lid on your toilet and plug up your drain every night so you don't have roaches that is just so psychotic to me like there's a deeper issue that you guys need to fix like they're coming in through some area that needs to be fixed and taken care of so anyways i'm excited to move and to yeah i'll show you guys empty apartment tour i'll do moving vlogs and i'll probably not next weekend but the following weekend the weekend before we get the keys i'll start packing up the apartment so maybe i'll start i think next weekend i'll go through um our like i want to go through my makeup and some stuff and like throw stuff away it's one thing that i love about moving is that I get to like throw stuff away getting gas in my car now but I wanted to tell you that we're moving and it's not just because I'm not happy where we are I'm happy the, with the apartment I love the apartment so much I love how much space we have I love just the layout I love everything I love how quiet it is my light is flashing at me and my camera battery is dying um, I love everything about it but the roaches is an issue and just how awful the maintenance everybody's just 
it's just a headache and a half. So we'll talk more. I went and picked up Fresh Kitchen for dinner. We don't really have a Fresh Kitchen close to us. It's 20 minutes away. I don't know if Fresh Kitchen's everywhere, but this is what I got. I get double kale slaw, which is like a kale salad mixture. It's really good. I get sweet potatoes. This is a six bowl, so I usually get a four bowl. So I usually just get kale slaw, broccoli, and almond chicken, but I got kale slaw, broccoli, sweet potato, and double almond chicken. So looks really good. Oh, I love, I love, love, love this tripod. I am just going to end off the vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed. I have ton of fun videos coming up moving vlogs empty apartment tours tour not plural give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye